and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see here, I've just this second finished. We're going to be making a beef curry. It's going to take a while, this one. It's really slowly cooked, but the meat is really, really tender and delicious. We've got some amazing flavours in there. Like I say, it takes a while, but really worth it. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's take a look at some of the ingredients we're going to be using today. At the back, I've got my beef, which is a fairly lean, little touch of fat on it, not too much, nicely cubed. Onions, I'm using white onion today, but red, you can use no problem. Tomatoes, chopped. Cilantro or coriander, I'm going to add that in at the end. Some curry leaves, if you can get those, they're absolutely marvellous. But um, if not, don't worry. I mean, try and get them. Fresh is fantastic, you can get them dried, I think. A little bit of fresh green chilli. And then, one, two, three, four, the big four, I always call those. Teaspoon of chilli powder, coriander powder, turmeric and cumin powder. I'm going to cook this today with some coconut oil. Again, if you can get that, really nice. If not, you could use a different type of oil. And then just at the very back here, just got a few green cardamoms and some dried red chilli. We're going to be adding a touch of water to this perhaps and some salt. Pretty easy. Takes, takes a while this one, so you want to get this really nice and tender. Let's get over to the cooker. Okay, so my coconut oil is going in. Like I said, if you don't have coconut oil, no problem, use a different type. And just as that heats, we're going to drop in our whole garam masala. And today I'm only using dried red chilli and green cardamom. So we just want these to kind of do their thing in the oil a little bit, just infuse it, just a little bit, a few seconds. Now we're going to go in with our beef, like I say nicely cubed, I mean, it's fairly chunky but I like it like that. And to that we're going to add our curry leaves. Now we need to cook this on a kind of above medium heat, just for about four to five minutes. There we are, so what we've done here is we've just browned the outside of the meat. I mean, it's absolutely red raw inside. At this point, let's get a little bit of salt in. And I made a terrible mistake at the beginning because I forgot to tell you all about garlic ginger paste. Of course, we're going to need some garlic and ginger. So there's about, well, you can see what it is. That's about three teaspoons worth of garlic ginger paste. And to that, I'm now going to add our onions. And again, we're going to cook this on this kind of medium heat for about another four to five minutes. Stirring, you know, often. This is coming along really nicely, but our meat is so hard still. I mean, this, this is the problem with beef. You need to take your time with it. Now you could have even wanted to use a pressure cooker and this will really sort of ramp up the cooking speed, but I'm not doing that today. But that will kind of increase the cooking process, you know, maybe by, you know, 70% or so. Right, now, we're now going to add in our onions, um, our tomatoes, sorry, to our onions. We'll try and use nice ripe tomatoes 
to that we're now going to add our powders so four powders about a teaspoon each that's coriander that's cumin that's turmeric and that is chili powder or if you wanted you could just use your favorite ready mix curry powder I always use these ones as you may know if you're a regular to the channel now I'm going to go in with that fresh green chili now I've got some water here cold water you know kind of a mug of water in there goes And we may be adding more water as well. So the thing to do now is bring this to the boil. Once it reaches boil, turn it down just above a simmer to get to a rolling boil. And we need to cook that at least for about 30 minutes, depending on the quality of your beef. But I mean, that's pretty good beef, but I still need to do it 30 minutes. And then we'll take a look. Pop a lid on that. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, that's been about 30 minutes now. Let me just get this lid off. Put a little steam out. And that's looking great. Now, no need to add any more water. It's looking good. What I want to do now is continue cooking this with the lid off. So I'm going to kind of reduce it down a little bit, get it a bit drier. So I'm going to let this go for about another, probably about another 20 minutes. So. Give it a stir every now and then. What we're trying to do is get some moisture out of it, thicken it up. Then we'll take a look. Okay, this is starting to thicken up a little bit. Now the big concern with this is your beef always. You want your beef to be tender. If you're doing this with a uh, bone, you know, bone with your beef, I would really recommend a pressure cooker. It's so much easier. At this stage now, I'm going to add a nice, healthy couple of pinches of black pepper. A little bit of garam masala powder. And then just a touch more of coconut oil at the end, just to give it a little flavour there. Just give it a little squeeze out there. enough just a little little bit for flavor now some people will be adding mustard seeds to this at the beginning and uh, a little bit of fenugreek some people also add different garam masala I've kept it really quite simple just with the chili the dried chili and the cardamom but I still need to let that go for about another 15 minutes give it a stir every now and then see you then yeah this is starting to really thicken nicely that beef's nice and tender so I'm happy with that so you just need to cook that until your beef's tender, so I don't know what beef you're using obviously, but slowly, slowly, sure is the way. Take your time with it, get it nice and tender. Off goes the heat. Now for me, I'm gonna finish this off with a load of fresh coriander or cilantro. Some people wouldn't add this, but they would add some more fresh curry leaves. But for me, the cilantro works really well. And there you go, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It always helps us out a great deal. And we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?